All right, fun update video. So over a year ago, I did 300ZX calipers with a 12.75 inch rotor for the 0206 L31 chassis Altima. So this would work on 6th gen Maximus as well and other Nissans because they all fit. So this is a 370Z Akabono caliper. And what I have on the back on the adapter, this is a spare knuckle I had. I had to replace the bearing, so I went ahead and replaced the whole knuckle. So, this is a 370Z Akabono caliper to 300ZX adapter. Noted, as in my previous video, the 300ZX, the Altima 240s, and even the B15s, I'm not sure the other centers, but the width of where it mounts is the same. So, these two. Is where it mounts. This is for the Akapona caliper. Now, the difference is is on how high it is. So, the part list that you can put a 14 inch rotor with this adapter, with this caliper on a 300 ZX. But if you try to do that on this, you know, at least the L31 Ultima, it won't. It, it the hole is off by eight millimeters. Did a whole bunch of measurements. It just wasn't. I couldn't even get the caliper to mount because the 14 inch rotor wasn't allowing it. So after measuring and deciding, well, do I cut the rotor down, uh, modify the adapter? The most cost effective and safest thing to do is just to have, to get a smaller diameter rotor. The 14 inch is 354 millimeters. So I was like, well, I need to move it by four millimeters so it could clear because it was not clearing at first here. So I measured, I'm like, oh, I need about four millimeters. Then I looked up the Evo 10 Mitsubishi Evo GSR has a 350 millimeter, five lug, everything else matched, rotor. And it's still coated and everything. I wouldn't have to lose the coating on the outside. Uh, and so now it clears. This is 350 millimeters, no modifications to anything else, no space or no nothing. So, so this will allow you, you have a, essentially a 13.77 or 13.8 inch, however you want to look at it rotor instead of 14 inches you know uh, so you could fit the Akabono four piston caliper on a sixth generation Maxima or the L31 which I don't know which generation that is right now at the moment Ultima because those two share about the same uh, dimensions on the knuckle so with further measurements that sound you hear is a bad wheel bearing I don't know if you can hear that that's why I went and just replaced the whole knuckle. But this shows you that you can do it. So, the rotors, just simple blanks. This caliper was $41 plus shipping plus core. 41 bucks. Now, it didn't come like this. I painted it. I did my own paint job. The high heat, and then I did my own 2K uh, clear. But just wanted to show people... What you can do. Essentially the whole setup including adapters, pads, everything, new lines, I just got basic, I didn't really care for the stainless because I'm not tracking the car, was literally after core returns uh, under $300. Around that price range. Mid to low 300s depending where you get it shipped and how long it takes you and how much it costs you for your parts. But yeah. So you can have this setup on your Nissan.